Hello, I'm Krista Porter, a transplant coordinator at UC Health. In this video, we'll walk you through what you need to know about testing for lung transplant. Your provider has referred you for a lung transplant evaluation, and we want to help you through this process. The testing is extensive and is done over four to five days at our Aurora campus. This includes our transplant doctor and surgical team, social worker, dietitian, physical therapist, pulmonary rehab specialist, psychologist, financial coordinator, pharmacist, and me, your transplant coordinator. In radiology, we will test how your lungs are functioning using a chest x-ray, CAT scan, and a nuclear medicine test called a VQ scan. You can also expect pulmonary function testing, or PFT, and a blood draw called an arterial blood gas, or ABG, during your visit. All of these tests provide our team with a better understanding of the progression of your lung disease. You will also have blood work drawn that tells us your blood type, electrolytes, blood counts, antibodies, and viral tests. There are other tests you can expect outside of lung screening tests. You will undergo a barium swallow, a sniff test, a DEXA scan, and a CAT scan of your abdominal area. Vascular studies are completed to check for plaque in your arteries. You will undergo an echocardiogram and a heart catheterization, the most invasive procedure you will undergo during lung transplant evaluation. With all of these tests, it's important that our team get a clear picture of your overall health and can help us identify any potential problems or barriers before transplant. As always, we're here to answer any questions you might have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.